Okay, so from our line lineup, uh, we're going to select this one over here, which is quite a nice, simple sort of like kimono, almost like uh, what you call it, like a poncho cover-up. Really quite like it. The simplicity of it. We've also got some little sleeves here, and we've also got this like collar, for example. And it's just a simple, um, yeah, just simple cover-up we can use for uh, the beach or for bikinis, uh, whatever. So really, really simple, really nice and easy. Anyway, let's get on with it. So I'm going to basically let's just copy this illustration. Let's create a new document. 400 cm by 400 cm, that's great. I'm going to click create and let's just paste in our illustration which is here, which is lovely, just to give us a bit of an idea of what we're actually doing. Okay, so next what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the Pattern Lab and we're going to create the block for this. Oops, hang on, wrong one, sorry. Let's go over to Pattern Lab. Okay, so let's go to the home page. So from here what we can do is we can simply go to our profiles and I'm going to choose a profile, so Francesca UK10, obviously I'm logged in and I've created this profile already, but essentially all we're doing here is you can create a new profile, add your measurements, and you can obviously find information about those, how to add those measurements, or how to take them, simply by clicking that little information button there for each one. And you can also have a look at our full length measuring the body for women tutorial, which will help you obviously take those measurements and create an accurate fitting block. Once you've got your measurements, just simply go to um, draft block, and for this, we're going to use the bodice and we're going to go for torso. We're then going to go next to go to the fit. We're going to go waist shaping. We're going to go automatic. Okay, so adjust it for us. We don't really need the waist shaping on this block anyway. Click length. We're going to go for the thigh length dress because I want this to come just lower than the thigh. So this will give us a good idea of where that's going to be. Let's go to the front. We're going to have no seam on the front. Let's just go for the standard mid shoulder. Let's also then go for the back of the block, and it's building in this preview on the right-hand side. Let's go to no seam, and then we have, let's go mid-shoulder. Let's go sleeve, and the sleeve we don't actually need, but it comes drafted with the block anyway, and as you can see, this is the finished pattern. Let's go to purchase, and just make sure you've actually got your profile selected here, which we have. And I'm going to download the e-pattern version, and the e-pattern version is a digital, downloadable, fully editable, fully sized draft of your block so we can edit this in Adobe Illustrator. PDF version is simply um, A4, uh, sorry, it's um, it's how you can print it out on your home printer and we have options for A4, A3, A2, A1, A0 and also US letter. So if you want to pattern cut manually on paper, select this option. If you want to do what I'm doing uh, in Adobe Illustrator and digitally amend your pattern then go for ePattern. It's going to add that to my cart and I'm just going to go check out. Uh, obviously, I'm an admin, so I don't need to pay for this, which is very handy. I'm going to confirm my payment, and then once payment's made, you'll see the screen. I'm going to go to Edit, Preview, and Download. And here is our block in full, sky, uh, full scale and uh, fully editable. I'm just going to click Download. I'm going to save this to my desktop, and I'm going to call it Francesca Shirt Dress Torso Block. In fact, no, I'm not. I'm going to call this Francesca Poncho. I can't spell poncho apparently, poncho torso block and click save. Great, we can now navigate away from the lab, we don't need it anymore. And let's go into Adobe Illustrator. Now here I'm just going to go file and then open that file which is on my desktop which is the um, poncho torso block. Okay, so here is our block, which is looking fab. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to simply take the back and the front block, I'm going to copy it, I'm then going to put it onto our big page here. As you can see, this page is huge because that pattern is still full scale. See so here, this is in centimeters. And what we're going to do is I'm going to now prep my pattern so I can actually start pattern cutting. So first of all, let's just outline these blocks and make them a little bit darker. Okay, great. We can also remove some content. So I'm just going to select like the bust line, the waistline, etc. Just some basic content. Let's just copy that or cut it, get it out of there. Let's just paste it in. So this is all we really need to draft this poncho. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm going to do this horizontally because vertically it's going to be harder for me to scroll up and down the screen. So I'm going to do this horizontally, okay? Because this pattern's going to be quite large. So this is my horizontal axis. Let's just make that 30, 10. So it's dashed. There we go. First of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my back block and I'm going to position it. I'm going to position the center back on that line, just like that. Oop, first of all, hang on. Make sure we um, we want our waistline in there. Same with this one. Let's group these. Okay, let's grab the back. I'm just going to rotate at that point. 
until the centre back lines up with our horizontal line. Just make sure that is actually on point. Same with this one. I'm going to match up the centre front with that line. I'm going to rotate. I'm going to move this up. Great. Next, we're going to pull these together so they meet at the shoulder line. Okay. So all we've done is simply line these blocks up on the centre back, and then we're just going to create another guideline, which essentially is our shoulder or the side neck point. Okay, lovely. So next, let's have a look. Right, <clears throat> I want to create quite a lot of folding and draping here, so I'm not actually going to use the shoulder line. I'm going to just simply extend that guideline out, and this will be my new shoulder line. So I have a huge excess amount of material, essentially here and here, that's going to go into this block and drape down the figure, Okay, which is great. So all we need to do now is figure out some basic dimensions. So right now we know that the thigh length, this is the thigh length, and the thigh on our model is, let's say, roughly about there. So at the front, if you can see here, this little tiny dot here is at the back. So my back is slightly higher than the front, and I want this really beautiful, long, deep, sort of like chevron point at the front. So if this is my thigh, I'm essentially going to be going down roughly about, I don't know, let's say 10 centimeters at the back. Let's take it, actually, no, because this model's quite tall and it's just a... Um, an illustration, let's actually make it 5cm at the back. So first of all, let's just get a line fill, let's make a little point. So this is the back of my block, as you can see, this is the back, this is the front. At the back of my block I'm going to draw a little point at the base, by the thigh, and I'm going to go down by minus, let's go 6cm at the back, hit copy, get rid of that existing point. And then at the front, we're going to go down by about, mm, let's say about, that was 6, let's say about 15 centimeters at the front. And you could actually measure this on the figure, but I'm just doing this quite quickly, and also I've kind of done this before, so I have got a good idea of what's actually happening with this block. So let's go 15 for the front. Smashing. Okay. So that's our new front length. And that's our new back length. Okay. So back length, front length. Right, next what we're going to do is we're going to figure out the length of the sleeve. So we're going to go from the centre back, which is this point here, all the way down the sleeve until we get to, let's say, this point, because I want to add the sleeve onto it. So from this point to this point is going to be about roughly, I would say, 58 centimetres, okay? In fact, let's call it 54 centimetres. And you can measure this again, but I'm just going to mark it by I. So let's go 54, hit copy. So that's my sleeve length before we add the cuff. There we go. Lovely. And next I'm going to add my cuff as well. So let's just go zero. I'm going to add an eight centimeter cuff. So in total, the sleeve length from the center back is going to be 62 centimeters, which is great because essentially our sleeve is 60 centimeters from the shoulder. So it's going to be raised. Right. So next what we're going to do is um, I'm going to mark these as not invisible, but I'm going to give them a very faint outline, okay, because they're no longer important. I'm going to draw. So let's get... Um, Let's make this dark. Next, I'm going to draw, let's say, this block in. So I'm going to just get my rectangle tool and draw a big, long rectangle like this to match those dimensions. So the center front drop, or sorry, the center front length, and also the center back length. Let's make this undashed. So that's essentially the vague concept of my block. Next, I'm going to add in my cuff. OK, so let's say I want to have a cuff which is 8 centimeters deep. So in other words, this is 8 centimeters, and I want it to go down the side of the body by about 30 centimeters on either side. So I'm going to go, let's take these two points, 30, copy. So 30 centimeters down the front. This is where my cuff is going to appear. And I want it 30 centimeters on the back as well. Let's hit copy. And let's draw a little rectangle to display the new cuff. Lovely. And also, I want this to be doubled over, so essentially the cuff will, this is the, let's say, the outside. I want that to double back on itself as a lining. So let's just double that up as well. Let's then consolidate. There we go. Let's draw the line across. Smashing. Let's take this dotted line too, because that's a fold as well. Essentially, I'm drawing fold lines here. Don't need to worry about that too much. Great. Okay, so next, first of all, we can just get rid of all of these points. We don't actually need them anymore. Although we should probably keep 
this one here, because we're going to look at the side seam. Okay, so because the front is longer than the back, um, if we apply the same distance, or if we just simply raise, to get the chevron, if we just raise it, we would have to do exactly the same, the side seam needs to be the same on both sides. So what I'm going to do is, let's have a look at our illustration. So let's say that chevron, just there, okay. So at the front I'm going to eyeball it, so if this is my thigh length, essentially maybe I want it to be pretty much exactly in line with my thigh length, so about there. So let's have a look, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to mark a point, let's mark it, so that's my thigh length. I'm going to take it slightly higher up than the thigh, let's go back maybe 5 centimeters or up five centimeters. Okay, that's great. And then let's just reshape that hemline just by moving that point in. Okay, so we have that lovely diagonal shape. And then let's also measure the distance between this point and this point. So this one and this one, let's measure the distance. 85.69, that's great. We're gonna then apply this to the back. So minus 85.69, zero, copy. Okay, let's have a look. Yep, so we've got a much less, we've got a much smaller chevron on the back, which is fab, like that. But essentially the two side seams, so this is the shoulder point, this side seam and this side seam is the same, which is great. Okay, so I think we're almost pretty much done here. All we need to do now is basically sort out this, um, so let's say the opening at the front. So what I'm going to do is, my opening currently on the block the front neck is 7.21, although I want this to be slightly wider. So I'm going to go, let's go 10 centimeters. So we're going to go 3 centimeters wider than the original neck. Okay, so essentially it's going to sit 3 centimeters away from the side of the neck. And then here, let's just get a guideline. I'm going to take this point, mark it down, and this is going to form my new front join. Let's consolidate. And I'm going to leave this square here as well because I want it quite an unusual, let's say, shape. Because we're going to add a collar to this. I want that collar to stand up. Okay, so essentially this is my block. This is my center back. This, sorry, this is my back panel. This is my front panel. And this is my little um, cuff. And it finishes just here. Um, not only that, but we have this opening, which we're going to then attach a collar to. And in fact, Let's have a look. Yeah, that's perfect. And then this is my shoulder seam. So let's make that dark. That's 100. Let's go to... Okay, so now let's add a collar. So let's measure the distance between these two spots. 10 centimeters. We know that. That's great. And this is 101. So we're going to go 111 centimeters. is essentially going to be the length of our, let's say, collar. So 111, and let's say the width of it, let's make it 8, which is the same as our little sleeve here. Let's click OK. Actually, let's have a look at our block. I mean, it's essentially similar. It's slightly larger at the bottom here, so possibly we can make it slightly larger at the bottom. Anyway, let's just take this. I'm going to rotate it because that's our center back. This is where our collar starts. I'm going to mark a notch here, so a 1cm notch, and just there, group, let's then rotate this, okay, I got it slightly off the measurements, but that's fine, let's just drag that out, and then what I'm going to do is, I'm going to continue the line, like so, let's make that a guideline, I'm just going to pull that down. Okay, so my, uh, let's say my collar here um, essentially just adds on to the base. And what I might do, because I want this to be slightly larger, I might actually just expand this about here, expand this to about here. Actually, let's do that in sequence. Okay, so what I want to do is I'm going to mark a point just here on my collar. So that when I expand this down by, let's say, 1.6, let's go down by about 2.6 centimeters. Do the same with this point here. Essentially, this time it's only coming from this point. So the two, this this panel matches this panel. If I did it without, then obviously, you see there, we would have an issue. 
you see? So just go back, we're doing it from this point. Okay, so that's my slightly uh, wider, uh, let's say, front collar. Let's get rid of this. Oops. Okay, so our pattern is pretty much finished, and it's that simple. So what we we'll do now is obviously add some seam allowance to this and add some notches, which is great. Okay, so let's take this panel here. Let's get a notch. Oops. Let's group this. Let's create a notch on this panel. Let's also create a notch this side as well, so we know that where they align. Let's also create one at the shoulder, and here, group, <coughs> group, fantastic. We can also put a few notches here as well. Let's go one, maybe one here as well. Let's move off the collar. Let's group this. We can then remove these points. Let's draw in that line because I've removed it on back accent. So that's our fold line for the shoulder. And for the back, we don't necessarily need a um, we don't actually need a notch because this is going to be cut on fold. So this is all be one entire piece, so we have very, very few seam lines, which should be lovely. Okay, so <coughs> let's get rid of some of these points. We don't need these. Okay, now let's add some seam allowance. So I'm going to go 1cm for all of it. So object, path, offset path, 1cm, preview, looking good. Click OK. Yeah, looks fab. Now let's just tidy this up a little bit. So here, because this is a fold on the centre back, I'm going to remove the seam allowance. Do the same here as well, remove that seam allowance. And let's just draw in a nice fold line. There we go. I'm actually going to leave these um, existing blocks on here, just so we can see how it looks. Okay, let's just remove or make that a smaller inner line. There we go. Okay, almost there. Now we can probably add in some of our labels. So let's go to this poncho block. Let's copy that. Let's paste it in make it a little bit larger because it's quite a big panel. Okay, we're just making a little template out of this so we can use it for the rest. And then let's just create our grain line. Let's create a little white box behind this as well. Let's align it. Group. Okay, fantastic. Let's rename this. So we're going to call this <coughs> uh, Francesca Poncho for now. And this is going to be body panel. And then we're going to go cut times one on fold. And 
let's change the type to be sentence case. Let's get a bit of pattern lab branding in here. Light. Okay, great. Let's copy that. Let's paste this in here. Let's go. Sleeve cuff panel. Cut one pair. Smashing. Let's drag this line in. Let's drag this line in. Do the same on this side. Can make it slightly thinner. Lovely. I'll call this collar panel. Panel collar panel. Cut one. Let's go cut one pair. Right. Hang on a minute. <laughs> nope, we're going to be doubling this over. So essentially, if this is my centre back, and let's put that in. Centre back, fold line. Okay, if that's my centre back fold line, then I need to really double this over. Okay. So yeah, what I need to do is, because we're going to be folding this collar over, let's just go transform, reflect, and then copy. Let's move that up. Let's place that together. Slightly out of rotation. There we go. Let's just grab and merge these together. Let's merge these together. Hmm, didn't work, hang on. That's better. Okay, so we've merged these together. We can get rid of this, we don't need this anymore. We've already got one. Then we can have a fold line. Great stuff. Oops, what's happened? Sorry, excuse me. There we go, that's better. Okay, let's just group that. Let's make that a fold line here, or the center back line. There we go. Okay, so that's pretty much it when it comes to our pattern. Let's just group all this and group all this, and that's it. So let's actually rotate this to what it's meant to be. <coughs> there we go. So that is our so that's our full pattern. So this would be the back, which basically folds down. Hang on, let's move this down a bit. So this is the back panel, which basically folds down the back. This is obviously our neck, so this would be our neck um, opening. And then we have our little cuff on the side here, and then we have obviously our fold over collar. And that should pretty much create this shape once it collapses onto the body. So really nice, simple, um, yeah, let's say poncho pattern here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do next is simply basically copy this pattern. So copy it and then basically paste it onto my, um, let's say, A4 print template. And as you can see, I've already done that. This just allows us to basically print this out as a full scale pattern, but on a series of A4 pages, which we can then obviously uh, print out and stick together to form our full size pattern. And that's pretty much it. If you want to find out a little bit more about this project, um, 
If you're on YouTube, then just simply click the link in the description and it'll take you to the actual blog page where this is posted and it'll explain a little bit about um, what the project's for and also sort of like what it looks like, this garment looks like afterwards and some of the material that we use, so really interesting. Um, okay, that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching and um, yeah, keep an eye out for the next, um, let's say, season one, episode 10, I believe, where we actually make a long line sort of like kimono coat um, out of a similar Japanese cat. Okay, and we'll also show you how to pattern cut that in detail as well.